Welcome back to JNY Cards, where we are going to be enjoying this amazing hobby together. I didn't do a card hunting video last week because I was on vacation two weeks ago, but I'm back now, so let's check out my card hunting footage from this past week. The first stop is Walmart, and this Walmart had a little bit of everything. Bowman Blasters, Series 1 Blister Packs, Gypsy Queen, Prism Draft Picks for Baseball and Basketball, Pokemon... WWE Prison, uh, Donruss UFC, Topsy UEFA Soccer, Magic, Diamond Kings, Contenders. I think you get the point that there was a huge variety of product at this Walmart. In, in my opinion, the hot retail products out right now are still Bowman Baseball and DC Comics' um, HRO Hybrid Trading Cards. Um, 2021 Prison Football did release this past weekend, but only in the hobby format. Hopefully the retail version hits shelves next week. In the back, they had more Pokemon. Um, on Friday morning, I woke up to find out that Target.com had sold out of 2022 Bowman Megas. Apparently, they were dropped around 3 a.m. I was really bummed, but then at 9 o'clock, they dropped more, and I was able to pick up some for myself. In fact, at the recording of this video, both Bowman Blasters and Megas are still available at Target.com, so go get some. Then we headed out to Target. They had Bowman Megas in stock. I was really surprised. I'll circle them in the video here. Uh, one guy took one, another guy took one, and I took three. I was in such a rush. I was so excited that I went to go check out right away, and I forgot to film the restock. And so that's what I'm doing here. Um, the funny thing was that when I came back to film this restock, I found one more Bowman Mega. Not too bad. Finally, I went to another Walmart, and they had those security spiders on the ETBs. But this Walmart was the one from a couple weeks ago where I found a bunch of open Vivid Voltage ETBs. I know this ruins the box for sealed wax purposes, but at least it protects the product from being stolen. As you can see, this Walmart had a little bit of everything as well. Welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed that card hunting footage that I was able to capture last week. I apologize for the previous week. I was actually on vacation, so I was not able to capture any footage of my card hunting adventures. Actually, I didn't even go looking for cards uh, two weeks ago because I was on vacation with my family. So I didn't want to take time away from them, and I wanted to spend time with them. So that's why I didn't have a weekly card hunting adventure type of video for you all last week. But... Let's jump in to this blaster box of 2022 Bowman. This is my fourth blaster box that I'm going to be opening up for the channel, and I'm super excited. I'm going to be opening up a bunch of Bowman this week because I love Bowman. And so, before we open up this one, I just wanted to get this out of the way. You all should consider subscribing because once I hit 225 subscribers, I'm, I'm going to be giving away this uh, hanger box of 2021 Rookies and Stars football. And once I hit 250 subscribers, I'm going, to, I'm going to be giving away this blaster box of 2021 Big League Baseball. So please subscribe. All you have to do is click that red subscribe button there. It'll take about four seconds. And as long as you're a public subscriber, you will automatically be entered in to win one of these two prizes. All right, so let's jump into this blaster box here of 2022 Bowman. I love it. Um, these are still available on Target.com. They are also available at your local Walmart and Target. I've been seeing them quite a bit at Barnes & Noble as well. And so what we're going to do is we're going to rip this open. Sorry, I got distracted on something saw like a hair pop up on my face camera and so I was just looking at that and then I started then I forgot what I was talking about so with Bowman 2022 Bowman you get 72 cards per box it is a 6 by 12 product retail has green parallel cards and here are the rest of the pack odds if you wanted to pause and look through that feel free to do that all right, let's put that there and let's get it ripping here. This week, I'm going to be opening up a Bowman Mega. I'm going to be opening up about 20 packs of Bowman Baseball. I'm opening up this blaster. And I've got something really cool lined up for Friday's video. So please stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be really fun. So let's see who we got here in this blaster. 
We've got Jake Berger, very nice. It's a decent rookie. Jesse Winkler, Javier Baez, Nick Madrigal for the Cubs PC, Matt Chapman, Dylan Carlson, and we've got a Tristan Cassis. Oops, okay, sorry, I just lost my face camera. Give me one second here. All right, sorry about that. My face camera died, and so I had to charge it back up. But I think we're good to go now. We're good to go now. All right, so last off was Christian Cassis here, this top 100 card. And then we've got Felix Valerio. Very nice. That's our first first here. And this is flipped up upside down for some reason. Benjamin Bailey first. I'll take that. Garrett Mitchell. Michael Triana and Blaze Jordan. That's pretty cool. Put Blaze there. Pack number two. Okay. We got Mr. Jose Altuve. Charlie Blackman. Bobby Dahlbeck. Adoles Garcia. Otto Lopez rookie. Reed Detmers rookie. Ooh. Vidal Brujan. Who is still in the minors? We'll put him right there for now. Uh, George Valeria first. She will scoot everything over except for the Vidal Brujan. Uh, we got Robert Dominguez, Colton Kowser, Isaac Pacheco, and Benjamin Bailey again. All right. Let's see here. Pack number three of six. All right. We got Paul Goldschmidt, who's been on a tear lately. Alec Bohm. Ryan Mountcastle. Aaron Judge. Aaron Ashby, rookie. Luke Williams, rookie. And then we got a Virtuistic Vibrations of Brady House. Very nice. Uh, Oswaldo Cabrera. There's a good first card. Uh, Adeo Amador. Cooper Kinney. Ron Ronio Quintero, Quintero first. And a Zach Veen. Ronio Quintero. All right. All right, so we got O'Neal Cruz rookie card. That's a good one. Ronald Acuna. Then Carlos Stanton. Nolan Arenado. Cody Bellinger. Joey Votto. What's this? Riley Green. Very nice. I heard Riley Green. He is back into the minors now. He should, Or he should be in the minors soon. Looks like we got a color there. It's paper. But we got uh, Ian Lewis first. Alejandro P.A. first, and our, who knows, save the purple for last. All right, let's do that. Now, let's have that marinate there. Hopefully it's um, Cleo Watson. But we got Jonathan Clays and Junior Sanchez. Chrome firsts. All right, pack number five. Okay, we got Ryan Villade, rookie, Luis Gill, rookie. Edward Cabrera, rookie. Jose Abreu. Mookie Betts. Hassan Kim. Vlad. Look at that. Bobby Witt as a prospect, but not no more. Uh, Yoloqui Yolo Cespedes. Diego Cartaya. Braylon Minier. Chrome first. And Garrett Mitchell. Another Garrett Mitchell. All right, last pack here, and then we'll see what we got as our color. All right, last pack magic here. Let's see what we got. We got Boba Shed, Rizzo, Manny Machado, Hoy Park rookie, Kale Raleigh rookie, Alejo Lopez rookie, and we've got a Marco Luciano High Five Futures, Braylon Minier. Paper first. 
Hiberto Hernandez, Alvin Guzman, paper first, Diego Velasquez, chrome first, and Victor Lazaraga, chrome first. All right. So now let's see who our purple is. Behind Mr. Alejandro Pia. Oh, okay, but it's paper, so it is a first. Let's see here. Let's see. It's probably a short stop. Yep, and then let's see here. A brewer. Jackson Churio. Hey, not too bad. I'll take that. Jackson Churio, he is one of the players that um people are keeping an eye out for. Very nice. There's like a little print line. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of running straight across there. But you know what? Not too bad. Actually, that print line is not too bad. It's actually got a bend. The card, I don't know if you can see it right there. I heard that right there. See it? It's coming in and out there. Um, but still, very nice card. Jackson Churio. No stats available. But in the Dominican Summer League, he batted over 400. It's not too bad. I've always wanted, like, an American team to go play against, like, a Dominican team. Like, a high school team. I think that would be interesting to see happen. I know we have, like, Little League World Series. But, I mean, I would like to see high schoolers compete against each other. But, yeah, Jackson Trio. Not too bad. I'm trying to get a top loader here. Come on, top loader. Come to me. You know, while I'm getting this top loader, I'll just let you guys know I'm going to pause the video again. This time, in intentionally, I'm going to organize these cards and we'll do a quick recap, all right? So I'll be right back. All right, let's do a quick recap here. Not too bad of a blaster box. I mean, we did get a decent color, so I can't complain about that. Here's our rookie cards. We got this Vidal Brujan, Ryan Vallad, Jake Berger, and Reed Detmers. I believe all three of these guys are back in the minors. I think Vallad, no, I think Berger and Brujan. Brujan, I think, I think he might have like played two games or three games and got sent down to the minors. Berger, I think, is still in the minors. I think Vallad might be doing the best out of these three guys. Um, but the Rockies are doing well in general. Um, and then we got Reed Detmers and O'Neill Cruz. So uh, I believe Reed Detmers is 3-2 and two or 3-3 three and three right now. And O'Neill Cruz has yet to be called up, but he's probably got the most potential. Here's our paper first. We'll go through these quick. Valerio, Bailey, Dominguez, Minor, right, Mini Army, Guzman, and Alejandro Pia. Not too bad. And then here is our Chrome first. Triana, Bailey, Quintero, Sanchez, Minier again, uh, Lazaraga, and Velasquez. Right, and our better, these are our really good firsts. The first that are kind of like what everyone's kind of chasing here. We got Valera, paper, Oswald Cabrera, paper, Ian Lewis, paper, Jonathan Clays, chrome, and then right here, we got our numbered card here, Jackson Churio. Out of 199, and also Churio is a player that if you that, that people are chasing after. So, not too bad, not too bad. You can't complain when you get a colored, uh, a numbered card like that. So, hope you all enjoyed that blaster box and that card hunting footage from this past week. Um, I hope I added some value to your day, and I hope that before you can leave, that you like, comment, subscribe. Um, Maybe click that notification bell. You know, if you could do one of those things, that'd be great. If you can do multiple thing, multiple of those things, um, that'd be absolutely amazing. I would be really appreciative of all of that. And so, all of you out there, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you all in the next video.